Hello to all from Thonima. You're watching this video in my YouTube handle at the rate just Thonima underscore Barbie. Just to let you know, my YouTube venture is totally a personal, anywhere is a voluntary virtual social outreach, and it has nothing to do with my profession when engaged with research and teaching in the field of molecular biology and biotechnology in an institution in India. I personally believe that education should be freely accessible to all. And with this in mind, I have initiated a series on cancer biology. This is my 53rd video on cancer biology. Present video intends to discuss on few perspectives of high fat diets and obesity and lifestyle factors and complex exposures. In the topic on environmental exposure and cancer connection, the present video partially discusses the paper entitled Not All Carcinogens Are Directly Mutagenic, a holistic view of the environmental exposure and cancer connection. The DOI of the same has been pasted in the description box. I would also request you to turn on the subtitle or caption button on the screen in case you find difficulty with my deliberation. Do keep viewing. Additional connections between obesity and epigenetic changes in certain tissues, including the colon, have also been documented. Further, there seems to be a complex interaction among diet, the microbiome, and the systemic impacts of obesity in shaping these processes. Another proposed carcinogenic mechanism attributed to the role of a high fat diet or HFD in cancer development is through O-linked N-acetyl glucosamine nidation or ONAGA. ONAGA represents a reversible post-translational modification whereby a sugar moiety is attached to the serine or threonine residues of proteins located in the cytosol or nucleus. This alteration is facilitated by ONAGA transferase and undone by ONAGA ACE, both of which are influenced by the concentration of glucose in the environment. Consequently, ONAG could function as a nutrient sensor, transmitting the impact of excessive nutrient consumption on protein activities and cellular functions. Significantly, obesity has been linked to systemic inflammation, which has various immune and metabolic consequences, as would be detailed in the book. So viewers hope the video could discuss few perspectives of high fat diets and obesity in lifestyle factors and complex exposures. Please don't forget to like and share the video and also subscribe to my channel. Here I would like to mention that the references that were used for preparing the video have been pasted in the description box and if you are interested to look into the details, you might check the same. Hope to meet you soon with yet another video on cancer biology. Till then do take care, keep well and bye.